Hey everyone, it's Eric here from Laughing. Got another video for you guys today. Hope you guys are all doing well. It's a really, really, really nice day today. Um, it hits about, uh, I think it's like 50 something degrees. It's gonna be actually 60. And it's nice because where we're located right outside of DC in Northern Virginia, it was about 20 degrees in, in, in the teens and that's really cold. And me personally, I don't really like super cold like that. If it usually gets below freezing, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of that. But you guys aren't really here for that, right? You guys are here for a MacBook repair. And uh, I mentioned why we're also in the areas because we take local uh, drop-offs and walk-ins for MacBook repairs, especially any type of dead MacBook or MacBook not charging, pretty much like this one, right? And this is the A1707 model. This is in here for repair because it's just not powering on. Now this model is a little bit of an older one. Because this one is older, it does not have a security chip in there or any type of firmware that we have to worry about when we finish a repair. We might have to do a restore or revive on that and that, the, that compromises the data. If you guys are interested in learning more about that, you should check out our other videos where we talk about the Apple Silicon ones that have a security chip built into the processor as well as other MacBook uh, Intel based models that have a security chip that is on the logic board soldered there. So let's go ahead and check to see why this MacBook is not charging. So we'll plug it in. And we're going to look at our voltages here and we're going to look at also our current and we see we're getting 5 volts 0.2 amps now right now we're just going to go ahead and look at for consistency so we want to see if we're getting all the same type of reading which both ports there have it um, the same reading now this one is a 15 inch and this one has a four ports because usually the 15 inches do have multiple ports they'll have four because that's the pro model and we see we're getting five volts, 0.2 amps again there. So it's kind of very, very consistent. And we're getting about five volts, 0.2 amps there. So all four ports are giving the same rating. They usually indicate some type of short going on, right? Because if you had one port that gave a different reading and then all other three are giving the same reading, then we would focus more on maybe that port or that part of that circuit that's going on there. Now, a lot of these MacBooks, especially on the USB-C ones, you have to have all four ports working in the first place because they all go along the same type of circuit and it gets pretty complicated just even talking about that. Uh, but we have other videos if you guys are interested in and explain that a little bit further. Let's open this dead MacBook that's not charging up and let's get right into the repair. So we open it up and we notice right away the battery is swollen and we call this this is a spicy pillow let's go ahead and we will just at least disconnect the cable there let's also disconnect plus and minus just remove that screw just lift this up so that we have no connectivity so now let's plug it in and let's see if we get any type of uh, different reading we're getting the same voltage then then that still indicates that you're usually a short which we are so we're still getting our five volts and about 0.2 amps there so let's lift it up let's see what we get here Oh, we did notice something right over here. And if you check over here, it looks like there might be some type of like liquid damage or something. I'm gonna remove this piece because what this is, if you look on the other side, this is our heat sink to the processor and uh, the, the GPU. And then uh, we'll go look a little bit further under the microscope. So we have it under the microscope and it does look like that there is some type of uh, liquid or something, looks a little bit nasty. Um, almost gives a color to thermal paste, but you can kind of tell just how it's um, just around here. It looks more like a spill or something, especially on uh, this side over here. So uh, there is an IC that's right here, and that's pretty important, but it doesn't look like any of the pins look to be impacted. It doesn't look like anything's really damaged here. We'll measure it after we do that, after we just do a little clean up here. So we cleaned it up 
it looks to be pretty good now, right? Let's go ahead to see now if our MacBook is charging. So let's take our USB-C tester. Let's just see if it changed any type of behavior whatsoever. Let's see what we get. We're still getting our five volts and 0.2 amps. We still see that we're getting our same type of short there. So what's the next step? What are we supposed to do now? We are going to use another tool and this tool is a thermal Im imaging tool. Just pretend this is a big city. We need to go ahead and find the culprit. It is just one guy hiding somewhere here. We don't know. He is that much of a culprit. He causes everything to fail. We're gonna go ahead, do our thermal imaging. We're gonna go ahead, take a look at the whole city there and then see if we can find the culprit. Here's our power input. So let's go ahead and plug this in over here because this is my thumb. That's not, <laughs> it's not the culprit, it's my thumb. Let's plug it in and we should see some area maybe get a little bit warm because that's normal. Something like this, that's normal because usually when you plug in one, you get that, but let's not worry about that right now. Oh, look at that. We see an area. We found him, we already found him. That wasn't too hard, was it? So he's over here. He's right next to this big building, this big coil, and he is a C6914, and he is our PB3B3G3 hot uh, regulator. So we need to remove him from society and put him in corrections. All right, just a little bit of flux, and let's put it back. That last shift, oh yeah, we like that. Okay, all right, so let's go ahead and, and try it out. Um, it should not turn on because this model does require a battery, but we should see a good voltage, good amps, and probably a battery icon. So that's probably what we would see. So let's go ahead and plug it in. So we see our amps go way up, way faster than it did before. We got a fan spin, and let's see if we get uh, at least the battery icon here, which would indicate that the repair is uh, complete, at least for the logic board side, and then probably have to just do a replacement on the battery. So let's see. It's cycling again because there's no battery connected, but we'll probably see here. Yep, so that means there's a battery icon. So what we'll do is we'll just go ahead and replace the battery because it's swollen, because this one does require it, but the board looks to be good. We're getting our amps and voltages and everything turning on. So we'll finish that up, and then we'll just power it on one more time, and then that should be it. So let's go. We replaced the battery on it because it was swollen. Now we should be good to go, right? Let's go ahead and plug it in. All right, we got the Apple logo. Yeah, it's a big display, isn't it? All right, everything looks good. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video on doing the repair for the 15 inch MacBook Pro that wasn't charging. If you guys are interested in a repair with a not charging MacBook or any MacBook not powering on, or if you have data recovery services that you require for a MacBook, please check our links in the description below on how you can mail on your device. Cause again, we're right outside of DC in Northern Virginia area in Alexandria, Virginia. We'd love to help you guys out. So hope you guys are watching. Take care, bye.